Here's a cool math thing I made many years ago. I was hairier back then. Uh, it's a sculpture made out of CDs. There are 642 CDs, and there are slots in the CDs, so they slide together, and then I'm gluing them into place. Uh, here we're making triangle modules. These triangular modules will then connect with other modules uh, to make a giant sphere about two meters in diameter. There's also a support structure. These fiberglass rods are sliding into a central hub, and then on the rods I'm hanging uh, stainless steel wires. These wires are very caref carefully calculated lengths that hold the CDs in place at just the right spots up in the air. At the end of each of the stainless steel wires, I have a little stainless steel hook, which connects into the holes in the CDs, uh, so that while this thing is up in the air, I can bring the CDs to it and clip them onto the wires and have everything uh, distributed up in space properly. So where are we? Uh, this is the computer science building at Berkeley, UC Berkeley in California, at Soda Hall where Carlos Hickam commissioned the sculpture, and he's also recording this footage as I'm rising up in the lift. Uh, this atrium starts on the sixth floor, goes up through the seventh floor and above, uh, where we've already hung up a cable that goes across from which the sculpture is suspended. The support structure connects by chain to this cable uh, so that the whole thing can rotate in the breeze very gracefully. Now all the individual modules I have to hook on to the stainless steel cables, hook them on, uh, and they join into each other, have a kind of a beautiful balancing mobile here for the moment, uh, but then I'm going to rearrange them and hook one into the next to begin to form this curve of a sphere. While I was doing this, I was really worried I'd be dropping them all over on the floor and breaking them, uh, so I had sent a bunch of spares, but in fact they didn't actually break any. Uh, so now I connect them up, slide the slots into each other, and then I glue them with a solvent cement. The solvent cement dissolves the plastic so that the two plastic pieces sort of flow together and then it evaporates, leaving with one connected continuous piece of plastic for the entire sculpture. The sculpture took two days to build. On the first day I assembled the modules and here I'm putting the modules together on the second day. Uh, this is following a period of about a month or two beforehand during which I uh, cut the slots and all the CDs. Uh, that happened back in my studio in New York, and then I mailed everything, all the CDs, to California in a box, which was about a one-foot cube. Uh, now the bottom piece is going in, the very last piece, uh, and the sculpture is complete. Uh, it's based on a shape that I call the propello icosahedron. There are 60 kite-shaped openings and 20 equilateral triangle openings. The kites are interesting because they have three equal angles. They're triequiangular kites. So the sculpture is called Rainbow Bits. If you happen to be at Berkeley, go to Soda Hall and up to the sixth floor and check it out. I hope you like it and that it leads you to think about how wonderful mathematics is and perhaps you'll get inspired to make some cool mathematical things of your own.